Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.2. We crashed on this planet a little while ago. By we, I mean me and my science officer. Hello, Mr. Science Officer ZTech. How are you doing? Sir, you're already talking to yourself again. It has been exactly four days, I believe, since we crashed on this place. And my science officer seems to think that I'm going crazy. When obviously, I'm talking to these very obvious people here. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Last time we went around and got ourselves basic coal production, a bit of iron production. This electric, uh, electric miner got placed in the meantime. We've got a massive furnace array. Well, a bit of a furnace array on the go. And up here... <sighs> is our main focus for today, I think, is getting copper to the same point as iron is. I say our main focus for today. Main focus for these first 10 minutes. And then, then we'll be trying to expand all those so we can have, like, serious goods everywhere. I would just suggest, sir, to just transport uh, I copper ore down here where the furnaces are. Yes. Actually, I, I like this plan. All we need to do is turn these around. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a good plan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by turning... These in the other direction. Oh, didn't want to do that. These in the other direction. The uh, the belts themselves will help me know which way I need to go. Uh, <laughs> I, I also feel like we very much need to get conveyor belts on the on the automaton. I can do that soon. I, be uh, I believe for this the conveyor belts. Yeah, it's easy to make them. Is it wonderful? I would I would like to get that set up somewhere so that we can have hundreds of conveyor belts whenever we need. I'm going to mess up everything by turning these around and loading up the other side of the belt. No, I'm not going to do that. I am, however, going to bring them all down here like this and then take this one away. If I remember correctly, loaders load to the opposite side of the belt, right? So... Uh, yes. So we could put a loader right here looking that way and it will load to where the coal's supposed to be. It will em empty this belt for us, right? Oh, oh, we, could, oh we could do that. Matter. I, I did um and ah about that, but I thought it would make a mess. <laughs> I, I'm normally quite good at making a mess. So. If really, if we really want to take care of it, we can just pick it up and oh, and put it in the power supply. It looks <laughs> like putting it in the power supply is a good plan. I will follow you down towards the power supply as we've not seen it this episode, whatever an episode is. Uh. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> see, see, I, I'm knowing how your crazy works now, science officer. <laughs> My crazy words! No, don't feel like you can trick me. I understand this is all a test. We were told about these in my captain's trainings. Your science officer will try and test you to make sure you have got what it takes. It's okay. I know what the nature of reality really is. It's fine. I have, I have reached Chi. So, science officer, my, my knowledge of ancient technologies is patchy at best. I am a starship captain. I can tell you how a warp nacelle works, but I have no idea how this steam engine works could you could you could you talk us through it there appears to be water coming in here well we have an offshore pipe which is unsure i've got uh, uh, where else would you put the offshore pipe rather than just onshore okay yeah uh that's pumping water without using any power uh into the we have already noted boiler. the perpetual motion that we have access to so that that's fine pumps it into this yeah. steam boiler which then yes, this contraption an engine Wonderful. Steam engine. Uh, get, uses the steam because it's at higher pressure and it can move the gears, I guess. Uh, wonderful. The, the thing I'm really interested in, you see how we've had to use power poles to connect everything up and they pass the power between these wires? Yes. How did it get from the steam engine to this pole? Uh, the, the power pole have an area of effect. An area of effect. I, 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 we're, we're obviously talking about Tesla's wireless power systems, right? <laughs> Something like that, Something yes. Something like that. Okay, wonderful. Just just seemed a little inconsistent, if you ask me. Just seemed a little inconsistent. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> if you ask me, when we do research the uh, substation, the area of effect will be enormous. Enormous. Wow. The, the, the wireless range will get even better. That is amazing. Yes. Uh, my only problem, which I think is uh, solved by putting... Uh, the, the wire, there is only one wire on here. There, <laughs> yeah, there is only one. So I'm guessing the... Zero negative, I, I don't know, ground wire is straight to the ground. It, it must be just straight into the floor, yeah. Or, or the, so uh, the, I don't, what so is the, the name of this planet? A... Science officer, where are we? What is the name of this place? <laughs> Well, last, I, I mean, yesterday you started naming everything, so 
Oh, I'll obviously, guess... this is Planet Twitch. E. <laughs> I can't just call anything Twitch. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> Curse you, <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> oh my! Oh, like for people that don't know, I have been called Twitchy literally since I was fifteen. So that is over a decade. Uh, that's that's nearly fifteen years. No, that's over fifteen years now. So like, I, I am very angry at Twitch coming along and stealing all my names, all my search abilities. Oh, it's horrible. But anyway, yep. enough of talking to the random people in the sky. Oh God! <laughs> no, I don't call them God. That 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 would be that would be awkward. Okay, so we've got lots of iron on the go. The, these boxes are literally filling up now. I'm all about that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, can I make a bunch of transport belts? Uh, I would suggest, yeah, placing transport belts on this size. Uh, I was going to bring the copper down. Yeah, of course. We can do that. Though your plan of putting them over there to collect all the iron together is also a very good plan. Yes. <laughs> of course it is. That, that's why you're my science officer. <laughs> You're here. It's my job. <laughs> Plans and insight. It's, part, yeah, it's literally part of your job description. Okay, so if we bring this down, I notice you've put a gap in the belt for me. Oh, I missed. <laughs> One shot. Uh, no, you were supposed to come down here. Yeah. Okay, let me take this back up like this. <laughs> I like the pickup mechanic in this game. It's very handy. It's the way they the, he stops you walking when you're doing the pickup action. To pick it up. Man, I still I still did it on the wrong plot. <laughs> Wonder how many times per episode I'm gonna end up rebuilding uh conveyor uh, ways. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> build, rebuild, build, rebuild. That's literally gonna be forever. Always. Oh, it's coming in on the other side. Do we want it on I can make it come in on oh, the I can fix it. I no no. No, you got it? Okay. Ah, I was gonna basically just do that up there. Alright, awesome. Uh, now we do need some inserters everywhere. Okay, for inserters I am very much missing copper, actually. Uh, well, copper can be... we can start producing it soon-ish. Just gonna start cooking up what I got. <laughs> yeah. When all else fails, just sit in front of a furnace watching watching metal melt. I hear it's very therapeutic. It speaks to our ancestors' ways. Where did you hear that from? Uh, from the old, uh, old engineer, um, my, my chief engineer. I, I wish I could remember Sally's name. That's her name, Sally. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> she is the she, chief engineer. Yes, Sally. Sally had a weird accent. I think that's what he said his name was. Let's start producing it with the fast inserter. Upgrading already. Uh, yeah, next level text there. I, I mean, I can, I can make fast inserts. Oh, yeah, look at them. Uh, look at them do their job. Well, our iron production is really going good. Good. Uh, Th these are words that I like to hear. Iron ore, we can increase the production for that. And I would suggest putting all of the things that you don't need in this chest. <laughs> uh, uh, fish? I, I kind of need the fish. <laughs> I'm gonna keep hold of the fish. You did it, the fish. So, like, I mean, I need, I need uh, to eat. It's very important. Yes. As, as a captain, I need to keep my, uh, my glucose reserves high, uh, my blood sugar. We wouldn't want it any other way. Of course. I mean, could you imagine if I was walking around delirious, talking about random things to random people? Uh, it would be unbearable as a crew member. I would imagine. Good thing you're not doing that. So. It's a good thing, good thing. But anyway, people, you can see that we've really got this uh, this system going down here, where we've got the copper coming from up top, coming down to a whole bunch of furnaces. Loving this furnace array that we've got on the go. Um, it seems that we are feeding iron through here, and it outputs the iron plate over this side. Copper comes down this side, along with coal. That's always the best bit, is when you get the coal looping around all on its own. And then everything just kind of feeds out the top here. It's beautiful. The turret research is done. Oh, the turret research is indeed finished. We can be safe. Safe against these deadly, deadly natives. Do you want to build some walls? I think we do. We need We need to build the biggest wall. The biggest wall we've ever seen. <laughs> if we can get them to pay for it, that'd be great. <laughs> yes, that's why I'm your captain. Dead memes. I don't quite understand. No, no, no one born in today's era would understand. I get that. <laughs> is that uh, some... Old history. It is. It's uh, again. I. I am a, a master of ancient histories, as I'm sure you would understand. 
Oh, how do I increase the place size of the bricks? Uh, plus, plus on your uh, glove, sir. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, I, one of my one of my passions whilst at college was the uh, ancient media history of our ancient cultures. Uh, they they're a very interesting time during the turn of the uh, the second millennium, where where culture just took a took a high accelerated pace and people were turning over new ideas constantly uh, unfortunately it's so jumbled that us future historians have have quite the time trying to figure out what they were going on about i mean do you know what a lol cat is i mean, personally i i i can only assume that it's a very rare breed that the egyptians worshipped quite interesting so did you did you have any help? Did your teachers uh, assume that they helped you with uh, researching? Oh, that of, of course, I, I did have all sorts of help from Professor Schnabel. Uh, but as as always, when sort of dealing with ancient history and the inability to talk to the actual people that were doing it, uh, it's all just conjecture. It's all just conjecture. <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe these maymays didn't actually exist. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, what are those? Uh, Maymays. Uh, it's, it's one of the p possible pronunciations of, of these things. Uh, the, these these ideas, these pictures that, that people came up with. They, they think it was some sort of language that, pe that people of the early internet, I'm not sure if you've heard of this, uh, but the early peoples used uh, pict pictorial methods of communicating with each other, much like ancient Egyptians. So, but why didn't they use their language? Um, it, it's again many many forms of conjecture here, but some some think that oh, with the the coming of the internet and the beginning of the typing generation, that the uh, humans' tongues atrophied into a state of non-use. Uh, <laughs> so um, what? Um, it's quite the history. Quite, quite the history, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh, look, we're getting mm. extra iron plates out. I like it. Good. <laughs> more more iron, more good. <laughs> so could you give me a uh... Example of such a thing? An example of a maymay. So there were these uh, ancient cultures of people that worshipped butterflies in all their many forms. Uh, there are many pictorial references to them trying to, to discern the nature of the butterfly. There was a man, a very well man, a very well known man. I assume that he was some sort of priest, uh, mainly seen wearing glasses with his hand in the air pointing towards the butterfly, asking about the nature. Is this such and such? Um, Obviously, we can only only assume that they were trying to delve into the deepest, deepest aspects of chaos theory. Um, I assume you've heard of the butterfly wings theory, where a butterfly flapping its wings could possibly cause a tornado on the other side of the planet. Uh, obviously, oh. this has later been debunked, as we all know, weather patterns are brought by the great Zephyr gods of, uh, of old. Um, but it's amazing what people people thought of. Yeah, uh, that's qu quite an interesting theory. A theory and evidence to back it up. Don't forget, we have the pictures <laughs> stored stored on ancient ancient hard drive media, <laughs> part of part of the 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 grand the grand archive known as the Google Docs. Um, they, they were they were released early in the twenty fourth century. Uh, I did hear that uh, that that generation was really obsessed by itself. Uh, I hear this as well. A, a, a time of great introspective re reflection, looking within yourself and finding out how you fit in around the world, um, or and rather how the world fits with you. Uh, oh, power pulse, nice. Quite, quite uh, interesting for uh, for the period of the human race. It is obviously nowadays we're we're a, a, a hugely selfless bunch, only working towards the greater good of humanity, uh, as exemplified by myself. Captain Twitchy. Uh, now I'm going to continue on along this uh, Twitchy Memorial Highway to Twitch uh, to Lake Twitchington, um, which is obviously the the renamed Lake Twitchy. Uh, just to, just to check that we're still getting some good coal going on here. Yeah. Oh no, I don't have any on me. Whoops. <laughs> it's right. The, oh. the the conveyor belt is a mere um, I don't know fifteen. I want to say blocks, tiles, tiles away. What what is the measurement of a tile compared to a person here? It looks like maybe half a meter square. Uh, I would say it's a meter by meter. You reckon a meter? Okay, I'll go with that, yeah. 
I'm not sure though. The, the scaling is a little weird because we're quite large, but then you look at these power poles and they're quite small. Yeah. Well, when you stand next to it, it's quite taller, so. Mm, yeah, it's double double my height, I say. Double my height, I say. Uh, I would suggest uh, one concept that's uh, useful. Useful concepts. I'm all about those. We got taught useful concepts at the uh, the, the captain's captain's uh, academy. But please do go on. <laughs> Well, making the entire factory uh, based around one straight line. Okay, yeah, 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 I can I'll so go with that. We can turn this production this way, and whenever we need a material, we just pull it off the main line. Okay, yeah, I, I believe I've heard of this concept before. Um, the m many people that I've uh, observed making stuff like this call it a bus. Uh, oh. And I'm all about that. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Uh, did, did the uh, is the coal production is our power situation still? No, it's not. It, it's literally just on its way. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I've just uh, just grabbed the last iron plates to get this last bit of conveyor done. No, I meant our production of power is not. Uh, oh, quite is it not good enough? Ah, more engines, more bo boilers, boilers, <laughs> or more boilers. You know, whatever works. Uh, ah, I was a little short. Which is crazy because we look like we're the same height. Oh, you've got it. Awesome. Okay, that that's cool. That is very cool. If you do access the panel on the pole, uh, you will see the production and satisfaction at the top there. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Full satisfaction, half the production. That's that's good. That that means we're not topping out. Accumulator yes. charge. Ooh, I presume that's a battery type thing at some point. Yes, yes. Uh, we can research batteries, which will allow us uh, to completely go Elon. <laughs> okay, go for, go full Elon. Yep, Elon be praised. <laughs> Elon be praised. I mean, we wouldn't have a Mars colony. Exactly. Uh, the, the the ancient king of Mars. <laughs> Patron Saint Sir, there, there is a chest up here that you can take stuff from. Uh, yeah, oh, it's just as good to stand there, though, right? <laughs> I just had an idea. You have an idea. You are the science <laughs> officer. This is this is what you're here for. It's what you're paid for. What am I paying you in again? <laughs> uh, I don't know, sir. You keep on saying being paid, but I don't know which what. I have some fish for you. I can pay you with fish. <laughs> okay. Fish will be accepted as payment, I guess. Good work. Until until we can get onto a proper proper currency, fish will have to do. I'm gonna make an automated way of making belts, uh, which will drastically improve our uh, yes. living standards. Belts followed by, um, well, at least splitters and a few undergrounds as well. I don't know which one I, mo I use more. Actually, thinking about it, do I use the underground belts or the splitters more often? They kind of go can, together. Like uh, I'm just showing on my uh, my viewport right now the the sort of system that I'm talking about, um, where we've got a splitter, and almost always you end up with a belt going underneath either the splitter or somewhere near the splitter. Um, so I kind of feel like they're equal balance. We should increase the copper production. At oh, least. The, yeah, the raw copper, very much. Very, yeah, yeah. Look, it's not even making its way all the way down. Okay. Let, let's go and have. Do you, do you say you'd have built a machine that builds miners? Uh, no, not miners, unfortunately. Ah, furnaces, furnaces. Yes. That that is a little unfortunate. Oh well, I can make miners. <laughs> there was a <laughs> smallest amount of lag on that pickup there. What's lag in this situation? <laughs> I've, the time dilation. I went and picked up a whole bunch of stuff, but it like didn't pick up behind me. There's. I am relation. I should be concerned about this. I am moving so fast that I will not be bound by your standard rules of time and space. Of course. Uh, just slightly rearrange this copper production to try and be the smallest smidge more efficient. I don't know if I actually get that, but we'll try. Concentration has got real. I'm just quickly arranging these so hopefully they have like the full spread um, across this copper. The main bit I'm trying to do is not overlap my areas of effect, which probably isn't anywhere near important, but... I mean, the, the only thing is you're going to be producing more copper, actually, faster. It's just going to be you will have to be there to replace it sooner. That's, that's alright. For example... We'll know when all the copper suddenly dries up. <laughs> I, I believe then that is the will... standard way of finding things out in this game. Yeah. Unfortunate, but true. Okay, there we go. Full copper production. Game? 
Okay, yeah, this is a, it's a good good production line. We could do probably with a little bit more. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna ride the rails back with it. I say ride the rails. I'm gonna ride the convoy, uh, the conveyor back with this. I wonder, Pretend the charm, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if the word convoy and conveyor actually have a similar meaning, a similar uh, origin. They kind mm. of sound the same, but they kind of break apart very early on. So I don't know. All right, let's have a look. What have we got going down here? Oh, hey. Uh, producing more. Nice. Nice. Not much. Uh, can I make more fast inserters? Four more. That's, that's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we can automate fast insertion, but uh, at the moment we can automate everything soon. Uh, soon. Trademark. Ah, uh, the great soon, soon trademarking, when uh, Dale decided that they were going to have all the words. Um, yeah. Another, another piece of ancient history we know about. And the second factory for... Uh, so you wanted uh, inserters, I'm guessing, or miners? Uh, both. Uh, but work on inserters first, I think. Okay, let's 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 go around and have a look at what you have done here, science officer. So you've got this line of production coming through, this line of material, uh, and then you use the splitter to split the, the, the conveyor belt. Funnily enough, uh, iron comes down here, goes into this first box, which is producing cogs. Okay, was that on both sides? Yep, cogs. Now I believe, yep, making belts. That is beautiful so that we can get this entire line of belts going on here hey I came up with this on my own in my own five hours I had to uh, like double side the belt that's nice uh, <laughs> I'm glad it's a, a convergent thing and we are no longer producing any stone are we oh uh, no there's 20 27 here oh actual stone yeah yeah we're short, stone short of Coast, it's amazing that we can just turn this miner around whenever. Oh well, you know, it's um, a beautiful anti-grav technology. We we stripped the anti-grav out of the uh, out of the, the 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 ship. You know, the one that had been damaged by the whiskey, uh, and, yes. and uh, thankfully, by applying just a small amount of vodka, we could get it working again just enough to turn this stuff around. Interesting that uh, so whiskey killed it and what uh, what what cup brought it back. back? Indeed, it did. It's the uh, the clarity. It was the uh, the inclusions in the whiskey that had uh, broken the warps of the anti grav cell, according to our chief chief engineer Sally. Is it it not Russian by any chance? <laughs> It could could well be, could well be. I'm afraid I didn't I didn't really look into the manufacturing process uh, at, at Captain's Captain's Academy. Uh, we, we we only really got told how to use it. There we go. Great. Now we have automated. Uh, Let's have a look. We've we got undergrounds and oh, they're both undergrounds. Nice. Oh, of course, because the uh, splitters need the next level automation. I remember. Right. So we have got. Belt production underway. We've got half belt production underway. Unfortunately, to make splitters, we need the next level assembly building, uh, which needs full, full on, full automated science production, which is the one thing that we're missing. And we would get on with that, but I am afraid I have run out of uh, time for today's little adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to get on with all of that. Me and my science officer will see you uh, then. Captain's log. Signing off. <laughs>